Afternoon guys, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. And what I want to discuss today real quick was we're getting ready to do a coastal hunter-gatherer type survival class on an island off the coast of Florida down in the Keys. And that class is currently sold out. It's for October of 2015. We'll be placing another class of the same type up in March of 2016. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to shoot a couple little videos quickly here to give a few guys on the Learning Center some ideas about how to do things who have never snorkeled or scuba dove before because we're going to be doing some traditional style spear fishing with both pole spears and Hawaiian slings and a lot of guys are new to snorkeling and scuba diving and things like that so they're buying gear but they're not really sure how to properly utilize that gear. So let's first talk real quick about masks and no matter what anybody tells you there's not one size mask that fits all. You have to get a mask that fits your face and sometimes that's a problem if you're buying online. And the suggested thing to do is go to a dive shop that has a pool that you can actually put the mask on, get in the pool and make sure it doesn't leak. That's tough for most people to do, including me. So what you have to do is just go to a dive shop or find a mask and if you order it online, you may just have to try it and return it. But it should feel comfortable on your face. And a lot of people will tell you that if you put the mask on your face and you suck in and it locks to your face, that it's a good seal. And sometimes that's true, but sometimes it's not true. You really want to find something that you can almost push it to your face and let go of it, and it almost sticks to your face when you stop. If you can push it in against your face and let go, and it pretty well sticks to your face, it probably fits pretty well, as long as it's comfortable around your whole face. The next thing is, all of these scuba masks, all of these new ones, especially with the floppy frames and things on them, come with a coating on the lenses as well as on the rubberized parts of the, of the mask itself that will cause it to fog up immediately in the water. What you can do to fix that problem real fast and cure it for the most part is get yourself some toothpaste. Any brand will do. I prefer Pepsodent. All toothpaste has a bit of abrasive factor to it. That's why it cleans your teeth. So you can take that abrasive toothpaste and rub it into your glass of your mask on the inside scrub it around really good don't worry too much about the rubber just get it around the lens area of the rubber and then rinse it out and that will pretty much keep that mask from fogging up too bad on you when you're in the water if it still fogs up a little bit when you first get in you can just spit into your mask and wipe the spit around inside there right before you snorkel or right before you dive the next thing I wanted you to understand about masks is how to put the snorkel on because there's been some questions about how do I put the snorkel on my mask and most snorkels will come with a clip on the side of them if they don't have that clip on the side of them you can take a rubber band and wrap it around their double over around your strap just put one loop here stretch it over your the top of your strap put the other loop on the bottom you can do the same thing with a banding from a piece of spare inner tube or something like that like a ranger style band but you clip this on either side of the mask, it doesn't matter, pretty close to the front of the mask. I prefer mine on this side. It's really a matter of personal preference. But you want that thing, when you put the mask on your face, you want that thing to be sitting right in front of your ear. And then adjust it up and down in the bracket so that it's comfortable in your mouth. And it doesn't strain you at all. That's the way you're going to have a proper fit of your mask and your snorkel. One of the best things that you can do initially to learn to use your mask and snorkel and learn to get your mask cleared because what will happen to you more times than not, or sometime it's going to happen for sure, when you're underwater your mask is going to get water in it. And sometimes that freaks people out. So you want to be able to get that water out. The easiest way to do that, really, I'll show you on top of the water, and then I'm going to show you underwater just by throwing my mask in the water and doing it on the fly, is to, when your mask gets water inside of it, just push on the top of your mask and blow out with your nose. That will break the seal on the bottom of the mask and blow air out, which will force the water out from underneath your mask, and then when it reseals, it will be dry inside. And one of the exercises that we did a lot when I first learned to dive when I was only 13 years old, my father was an instructor, was they would have you take your mask and snorkel, throw it in the pool, jump in the pool, get your mask and snorkel on, clear it, come up, clear your snorkel by blowing out on the snorkel to get the water that's filled the snorkel out, and breathe without completely surfacing. 
and you would practice that and practice that until you could do it and that gets you comfortable with mask getting filled up with water and things like that that may happen to you while you're diving in case you get bumped or anything like that. One thing that you can do to help keep your mask from fogging up on you as well, like I said, this rubber has the same chemical compounds on it that the glass has that makes the mask fog up when you're wearing it. So if you squash your mask up and the rubber touches the glass, when it's stored, it's going to fog up on you again. So take your strap and put it on the outside of your mask and when you store it in the case, Whatever type case you're using, this Cressy mask comes with a hard plastic case. Shake all the water out of it, put it in that plastic case with the mask to the back and the strap to the front. Let it dry out and then put the top on your case. And that will keep your mask in good shape and it will also keep you fogging up. So that's a good practice thing that you can do in a pool you know, at a hotel or in your backyard or any place that you have available to you just got a pool, the YMCA, whatever the case may be. So that should cover how your mask should fit, how to keep your mask clean and how to keep it from fogging up, and how the mask is supposed to be set up on your face, as well as how to be able to jump in the water, put the mask on underwater, clear the mask of any water, clear the snorkel, and not surface all the way, just have your snorkel poking up out of the water. Okay guys, well I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School and I appreciate you joining me for this video today. We appreciate everything you do for our school, for our business, for our family, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates and friends. And I'll be back with another video in this series and many others as soon as I can. Thanks guys.